In results 2022, the supervisor of elections in Volusia County is recounting votes for some races from the primary election. Candidates from State House District 29 and Ponce Inland Town Council Seat 4 are waiting to get a final answer. But the process is not as easy as you might think. News 6's Ezzie Castro is in Deland where the recount started this morning. The primary election here in Volusia County not quite over yet. Candidates from two different races have called for recounts. It seems like Volusia County, we have one each year, each election, just about. Really? <laughs> yes. You know, and I think that's a, a tribute to the people that get out and vote. The Volusia County Supervisor of Elections, Lisa Lewis, recounting votes today for State House District 29 and Ponce Inlet Town Council Seat 4. The preliminary results for District 29 showed Representative Webster Barnaby received 50.09% of votes and Representative Elizabeth Federhoff got 49.91% of votes. Both candidates were there for the recount process but did not want to comment on camera. And what they're doing is they're running through every ballot that pertains to these two races and counting, tabulating them again. And what it does is it kicks out any over, over votes or under votes in those two races. And then our third machine is going to take those over and under votes and separate them by the two races. In the Ponce Inlet Town Council seat four race, results show David Israel and Joe Villanella were almost neck and neck. They're close races. And, you know, especially in a municipal race, every vote does count. You see six votes. You know, we have quite a few over the years that are separated by 10 votes. Lewis explained once they got a total recount of votes for the state house race, it will be sent to Tallahassee where the results will get finalized. As for the Ponce Inlet race, those results should be ready later today. It takes time because you want to make sure that those ballots, you know, we know where they are that they pertain to this and that after they're run through, they are sealed back up in case we need them again. In Volusia County, as the Castro getting results, News 6.